Hi YouTube friends, so let's see what we have growing in the garden today. Um, I'm really doing intensive planting here, as you can see. But let's take a bit of a walk through. So the medium that I'm planting in is leaves. Um, it's leaves that I get from the um, garden services. You can see it's just piled up all over. This is the Egyptian walking spinach, oh, Egyptian walking onion. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's making like a little, um, it looks almost like a little pregnant onion and then it bursts open, it makes little bubbles. And then that gets heavier, so you can just move on a little bit. It gets heavier and then it sort of goes to the ground, it anchors and then it makes new babies. So in between that we have a few uh, ornamental plants, we have sweet peas growing up the um, pomegranate tree. Um, I've just ripped out a bit of uh, nasturtiums here which I use as a um, trapping uh, medium and also to feed my bunnies that give me fertilizer for the garden. This banana is also for the bunnies. They eat the leaves. Here's a cassava plant. I don't know if you guys know cassava. It's like a tapioca type plant. Um, uh, and you, you use it as a potato substitute. You can boil, um, uh, cook, you fry. Uh, what you, whatever you want to do with a potato, you can do with a cassava. It makes these huge, huge long tubers on this side at the bottom and then you harvest it that way then you can take cuttings again and replant new ones wherever I have wherever I could I've popped in tomatoes and I've popped in six different types of um, potatoes so just on this side there's rue growing here coleus um, it will eventually make flowers for the pollinators um, this is coriander with a little ladybug on it over there. There's bees around. Uh, this is like a um, variegated nasturtium. Then the calendula we use for calendula cream. Um, so we've got lots of them planted. Here's another uh, Egyptian walking onion. There are some more of them. And over here is catnip that I harvest to sell at market. We have some lovely sweet potato slips taking off. Um, spinach in between, everything. More nest, more um, coleus down here. And then we have things going to seed, there's some spearmint there, kale in between, let's walk this way, as you can see, it's all leaves, in these leaves I've planted, just popping potatoes, planted a whole lot of potatoes, and there the first ones are popping up, so I'm expecting a lot more of that, and um, this is a pineapple sage, and there we have um, garlic. So every bit of space is used. Unfortunately, sometimes some debris comes along with the garden services waste, and I just remove it after the fact. There's blueberries, they're actually fruiting. You can see there. Tomatoes, more nasturtiums as cover crops. Comfrey, which is a dynamic accumulator. It brings out all the good stuff from the bottom and then when you're ready you just pull out the leaves that's called chop and drop and you just put it there and it fertilizes your garden so it's all about just using what you have we have longevity spinach here giant europe recumbents at the back we have um, sunflowers coming up peppered use and this is um, Lovely citronella. 
More potatoes in the middle of nowhere. More blueberry bushes. And then we have the pepino melon. It's got a lovely sweetish taste. I know there are two that I've identified, but it's full of flowers. So it's, it um, tastes like sweet melon. Those orange ones, from back we call it in Afrikaans. And it grows amazingly. I put garlic all over and I put onions in many places to try and confuse the insects. As I do have country. Uh, down there is a um, curry, tree, uh, curry tree I'm growing. More potatoes coming up. Um, this is elderberry. This is him. And um, we have our patch of asparagus. As you can see, asparagus spears. So later in the season, we'll probably harvest from that. See if I can manage to get through this little bit of jungle. There's more elderberry. We have garage that we're going to use to attract pollinators. More um, garlic here. And I've just cleaned the rabbits' cages. Um, they make what you call a cold compost or cold manure. So you can put directly on the on the plants that you want it. And the main thing for the bulbing of garlic is you've got to try and keep the bulb cool as long as possible. So in South Africa we're heading into summer. So it's very important to have a thick mulch. Yeah, I have added some more um, comfrey and then in between a tree spinach which is a perennial spinach um, you must boil it before you eat it. you can't eat it raw and oh, I see they want to flower so that will be great I use the comfrey for a comfrey cell which is amazing for anti-inflammatory properties so over here I've just taken the grain bags um, the chicken feed comes in. I've put in, put in a whole lot of big, huge, giant white potato seeds, and then I've put in beans to trellis. So that's going on there. And then in between, we have more cassava that is busy sprouting. There's radishes here that we can feed to the, into the bunnies. More cassava, more spearmint. That's rocket that's gone to seed. I'm waiting for this lemongrass to go totally to seed. And then as I said, more calendulas for the calendula cream. And the bunnies can also eat it. I see we've got a spot of powdery mildew here. But we do things organically, so I'm not going to do too much to it. If it becomes too, um, too bad, I'm going to be pulling it out. And then I've planted tons and tons actually over planted carrots so what I do is I just grab it like that you can see I've cut over there already uh, grab bunches like that and cut it off harvest it for the bunnies and then they have their snack so this is oh I might just as well show you these tubs for today okay so I've decided we have this old swing over here that no one uses so I'm going to be trellising tomatoes I know this is way too many tomatoes for these tubs I'll make sure that I put enough bunny manure in and I'll make sure that I prune them and thin out the branches that are too many and then I'll be trellising them up here so there's a mix um, it's the oxart and then the star 9065 so that is this little one corner of the garden and you guys saw how much stuff we crammed into there um, I haven't even showed you there's more patches of um, carrots rosemary uh, catnip and then we have little tomatoes over here as well there are some with fruit over there and even more matador baby, baby spinach there. 
So this is what you can do if you're not fond of having a lawn. And we have bunching onions, um, bachelor buttons, and lemon verbena, which smells divine. We've got fever few, yeah, fever few has like, got like an aspirin type effect if you use it. Um, so that's her herb I grow for medicinal use. So tomorrow we'll do the next part of my very much zigzag garden. Have a great day guys, speak to you tomorrow.